All right, Miss Bell. Hi. You're looking sweet. I know, right? What style are your friends there? Mean sweet, I mean that. It feels like it's all for. I mean, uh, you, you've been promoting the, the launch and finally it's here. Is it what you planned it to be? Uh, not exactly. Because it was supposed to be like a daytime event where the pastor will pray and then we'll cut the sword and everybody will enter and I'll take everybody around and then the party will start and then it will continue like that. But unfortunately, 2 o'clock, no more more setting up. Why are Ghanaians like that? I know, I know. Then we like to party. The setup took forever and then the lights went off and came back in. Oh, Yehovah. <laughs> So, yeah, but so far, so good. But if it had started in the morning like I expected, I would have been very, very happy. I mean, uh, whatever be the case, we are here, and it's a lovely place. I hope I catch you in the way the place is, uh, the various sessions that you have. And maybe I know already, uh, my tasty some lovely cocktails. And see, maybe just take us through Obi uh, Mahada or Baha, what can they experience? Um, Ubaha is like a one-stop entertainment center. This place is the lounge, the VIP lounge or the pub. And you can have all sorts of cocktails here. Give us some of the names of the cocktail. I, I know the one you're having is it's called Madame Special. Eti, give us some of the names. Um, I don't know all the names, but this is Madame Special because it's only I came up with the recipe, so they make it for me only. Oh, cool. I don't know if you would like to try, but it's, it's kind of strong. I, I'll try it later. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is like the VIP lounge and the, the pub. You can have a lot of uh, cocktails here. Um, the expensive local. Like this is like classy. And then outside, we have the um, local chop bar. Local bar where you can eat fufu, banku, and all the African food. And drink all the local bitters from whatever bitters to whatever bitters. We have all the bitters. We have Sobolo, we have Asana, we have Teda, we have Meda. Everything, yeah, at the local shop bar. And then if you go inside, we have like a small cold room. It's kind of like a club. But it's for people who like to be in the dark and chill privately. And then we have a video room where if you want to have one-on-one -on -one with someone, you can go in there too. And, and that one is hot. People are talking about that. That's yes. One-on-one. -on -one it's like it's... <laughs> is there a bed? A, it's, a, it's a very comfortable uh, Chinese sofa. Okay. So it's very low on the floor. So there will be no... Do things. If you want. Mahu <laughs> <laughs> uh, was a special drink. So what's your favorite food on the menu as well? Ah, I would say, hey... I like the wache, the Wednesday wache is my favorite, but the Sunday fufu is a hit because on Sundays it's packed, 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 and the food gets finished easily and then people keep coming and asking for more. But my favorite is the, the Wednesday wache, yeah. So and then, you don't get wache on any other day? No, it's only on Wednesdays. And then Thursday we have banku, and then Friday jollof, and Saturday we have everything, and Sunday is only fufu. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to do it like that? Because we don't want to serve like Edgani Adi Achin, so how do you say that in English? Uh, left to no. Um, so <laughs> left to the Obi Manaka. Food that you have slept and woke up. Adi Achin, so money has come to meet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so we want to serve like fresh food, so one meal a day. But on Saturday, you have a bit of everything: small wache, small jollof, small banku. And then we have spicy chicken from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Which is what I'm about to taste and then I'll give you guys feedback. The spicy chicken <laughs> is really sp very, very spicy, but you can't let go. Eh, the papa? Oh, yeah, I think that's my favorite. What no more Yeah, the spicy chicken, yeah. Now, Miss Bell, if you must say, on now for phone, you know, I came early. I'm looking for all your celebrity friends. I can't find them. Have you driven them away from your life? Oh, no, I've not driven anybody away. But unfortunately... Most of them keep saying, I have a show here, so when I'm done, I'll pass through. Or I have an event, and when I'm done, I'll pass through. So I'm, I'm still waiting. Yeah. You know, Ghanaians, they always want to go to places late. Now, me bang, I got lost, and I saw a Bells International School. Uh, <laughs> let's just say it's mine. <laughs> anyway, lovely. I didn't, I didn't want to 
want to say anything. Oh. People have been thinking that yeah. it's my school, and I've, oh, I've quietly been enjoying it. <laughs> but no, 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 it's not, it's not mine. Because everything you know it's that. right at the junction, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bells yeah. International School. Yeah, it's it's congratulations. Uh, I hope a lot of people come. Uh, I got lost, even with my, my map. I got lost. Ah, you see, you, you people, you trust GPS so bad. Yeah, but yeah. it's, it's kind of like a hideout, yeah. yeah, where you want to be away from the noise, have some privacy and do your thing, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to sample all the food. Uh, big belly. I'll give you feedback. <laughs> all right, so we're still at Bell's Pub. Uh, Miss Bell's opening her new uh, venture. Shale, I'm here with Vaisa. Vaisa, how are you doing? I'm good. So what do you think about uh, Bell's? Uh, I think everything is nice and I'm very happy to be here. First of all, I would like to say congratulations to Miss Bell. This is a very great thing to do and she should keep keep it up. And I would love to be here anytime. So I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, it seems musicians are venturing to different things. Uh, you are coming from a label. You have you have D Black himself venturing to uh, other businesses. Uh, are you also inspired to do something like that? Yes, I'm also thinking about doing some businesses, but I wouldn't like to disclose it right now. Until Very soon. All right, so we're still at Bella's, uh, Miss Bell's uh, new pub, and look who I have with me, Daddy Opanka. Am I? What's up? What's up? Uh, Daddy, what year for so long? Oh, what's the official and it's Opanka. But once someone would name Daddy Opanka, no, like it's normal, but official in everywhere, um, me, me, me singles, me, yeah, be, be official is Opanka. Yeah, but you can still call me Daddy Opanka, cool. Now, uh, what do you think about Miss Bell opening uh, this lovely place, uh, Bellas? Yeah, I think it's great. One secret is when it comes to um, showbiz, yeah, entertainment, let's say act for no one and then those involved in showbiz, you know. This is, I think this is one important thing we should venture in, what you here, because it will get to a time um, when you are an actress, an actor, when you are a musician, you get to a time sometimes the music wouldn't be fetching you money. What you here? And sometimes we need money to push, to promote, and do everything we do. So I think this makes a lot of sense. What you here? So um, immediately I saw it happening. She like she DM'd me, invited me. I congratulated her because I felt like she's done something great. So honestly, something great. Having me with a uh, who actually just. Uh, performed on stage. I know we captured a bit of that, so you've seen it. Uh, so, uh, Uta, what do you think about the space? I think uh, it's an amazing place. Uh, you know, I actually checked it out on the brochure she had earlier on, which had like a continental ward, cold room, smoking area, all of those, like, you know, different rest of it. It looks interesting. To me, it's interesting. Uh, so what do you think about uh, musicians going venturing to business such as this and then other ones? Is it, is it a good thing? Because um, as creative people, sometimes you get caught up in what you do as artists and uh, sometimes um, you want to feel comfortable doing just that. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to venture into other businesses? Yeah, first of all, business in general is a good idea. Secondly, what better business to do than, you know, like a pub where you get to play music, which you are a part of it, to actually also promote your music and your kind, you know. Plus, uh, I think the most consumed thing in the world so far is alcohol. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You never go wrong with food and food and alcohol. Exactly, and exactly. No, they are perishable stuff. So, like, it keeps moving. So, I think it's a very lucrative business. Uh, considering the area, I don't know much about this neighborhood, but it looks like it's a crowded place already, so I bet you'll make it. Yeah. I'm in love with you, 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 I'm in